we're back doing open homes and auctions. Still in a varied format, however, and we have to be really careful, careful about that. So we've had a couple of weeks back uh, sort of doing some open homes, but we've still got to be so mindful of social distancing, so mindful of how we're managing people. Been talking to a number of uh, auctioneers and they've certainly been talking about that very first week back with live auctions and having people there. It was about separating for them. It was separating the uh, registered bidders from the onlookers. There were still onlookers or sticky beaks or interested parties or you know whatever you want to call them, but they were not registered bidders. So it was separating them well and truly from where the registered bidders were standing and making sure that everybody was adhering to social distancing uh, requirements. And you know, whilst it's all top of mind for all of us, the hygiene, the social distancing, you know, being careful with each other, it's really easy to forget about it because we've spent a lifetime of not doing it. So guys, in your open homes, making sure that continue with some of those practices that you've done before, using using your social media, using your videos, you know, getting people, are you interested in this property? Have a look through it first. Let's do a walkthrough first. Here's a video of it. Are you really interested? Okay, now we'll take you through. Let's, you know, looking at, okay, not having lots of kids traipsing through a property, you know, having one one person come through and look at it first, the other, the other person might stay outside and look after the kids or, you know, whatever. Talking to people before they come to your open homes about <laughs> your requirements for social distancing and your requirements for hygiene in terms of using hand sanitizers. I know of some agents who are actually have, you know, purchased the, uh, you know, that gun style thermometer where they're putting it to, to people's wrists or people's foreheads mm -hmm. to check whether they have temperatures or not. Guys, it's about keeping yourself, your clients, your staff, your family safe. So yes, we've been, you know, there's there's more openness now. We, you know, we're allowed to have gatherings of 10 people, uh, you know, in and out, you know, outside of the home. So, you know, it's businesses are allowed to have 10 people in. So, but it's still, you know, the health guidelines for the 1.5 meters still needs to be maintained. The, the you know, using digital platforms wherever we possibly can to discourage physical contact. Um, you know, keeping contact records of people more important than ever. We've always said that it's about insurance and clearly it's about keeping your, feeding your database and creating your database. But even now the contact records of people who've been through properties, so important if somebody rings you back and say that they're, they're now being tested or to have been tested and, and are positive with, um, with uh, uh, COVID. So, you know, it, consider things like extended time for your open homes. So that's about structuring it in such a way that you can get from one to the next and having extra time because you're going not be going to allow so many people through the properties all at once. Looking at um, using outdoor venues whenever you can for auctions, obviously that's going to be weather permitting uh, and separating people. So, you know, even though we've had a couple of weeks back into the, the saddle in terms of allowing open homes and, and live auctions, Keep using some of your digital platforms. Keep using some of the behaviours that you've, you're have you starting to get people used to. Uh, and, you know, it, it's our brave new property world in terms of how you're progressing with that. So, guys, really important there. And, uh, you know, make sure that you are adhering to, to all those requirements.